Josh Newcastle was a win, a couple of wickets. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. No, it was a, a really good win. Um, leading into the tournament and looking at our squad, I thought we've got a really, um, a, like a varied bowling attack and guys that can sort of play a number of different roles with bat and ball. And tonight, I think we saw that with the ball. Um, nice to get some wickets early on for me personally. Um, and then you sort of guys came along and played their role really, really well, whether it was Benny Howe sort of bowling all around for us or even going to Bo Webster, you know, pretty late in our bowling innings. We've got a lot of, a lot of, avenues to go down and today it worked out for us. And there was a photo of all six of you standing yeah, there before yeah. the game. A bit strange to have six debutants in one. Yeah, we were the majority today, um, six v five, but uh, I think everyone played a really good role. Pete was excellent on debut, so was Benny. Um, Rooster didn't do a great deal, God love him. We we're hoping he got one at the end. Um, that's, what's his name? What's Rue's name? Jake. Jake, Jake um, McGurk. Um, but he was excellent in the field, so Matt, the boys were excellent. Um, and really excited. Uh, the only problem is we don't get too much of a time to reflect on the performance because we're going around again tomorrow. Yeah, what do you make of the quick turnaround, the 24-hour straight onto it again? Uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. Um, I've seen it happen in other tournaments around the world, so it's not sort of the first um, for us, but uh, it's going to be interesting. I think we'll take a lot of energy, to be fair. Like, you know, having a, a, a few days off, it probably allows you to either recover from losses or even slow down from wins, but we'll go into tomorrow, tomorrow full of confidence off tonight. Just back on the uh, debutons again, yep. How, have you found the hub experience sort of helps gel the team when there are so many new faces? Yeah, definitely. Um, walking out in the field with the first time with the boys, we played some practice matches, but obviously a lot of new faces, like we just said, I wasn't sure how it was going to go. But um, the thing I took away was we are great in the field and then walking off at the end, there were sort of seven or eight guys, which, you know, two or three weeks ago, a lot of us hadn't met each other, but no one sort of, um, you know, walking off into a strata or anything like that. I think the boys seem like they're in a really good place and the hub certainly had uh, a big part to play. We've been hanging out with each other probably more so than what we would otherwise. The um, the sub was a talking point. Yeah. Again tonight, I think the Scorchers had two bowlers, probably needed a batsman in there. Yeah. What do you make, what's your interpretation of that rule and how have you discussed it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, probably to just to play the game that's in front of us and then if anything obvious stands out, then that's just an opportunity that we'll be able to take. Um, I think that's been the response for most people that have uh, approached it so far. But, you know, within the next week, we're probably going to see someone um, make that change. And then that's going to give us more information, whether it works well or work, works poorly. Um, that's going to create a competitive advantage or otherwise for other teams to sort of maybe reflect on. So um, obviously we didn't need that tonight, luckily. Um, but we'll be keeping, you know, an eye out for the next couple of days to see if anyone requires it. Big Pete, yeah, yeah, Tim, as he's uh, affectionately known. Um, Pete did excellently, you know, brilliantly. And the most impressive thing that he was up for the contest. So he was, you know, 100% keen to be out there to get amongst it. You know, he's saying today, even though it was his debut, he was pretty pumped. And I sort of thought it was a little bit more on face value than anything else. But mate, he was, you know, you could see him in his energy. And when he got his wickets, he was pretty pumped. So uh, that was excellent to see and really exciting for us to sort of have another Another a guy that's a bit bit different, I guess, to the rest. Another another string to our bow as a bowling unit. When did you actually um, you sort of join the squad? Um, I came in late uh, well, about a week ago, and Pete was already there. So, um, but I don't think he'd been picked up, you know, much earlier than that. So, he's a uh, my understanding is he's from Melbourne originally. He's been living in in Adelaide the last few months, but um, so there are obviously some people in Melbourne that know what he can do, and thought he might have. Um, been an option for us and you know credit to Maxi Klinger and the rest of the guys for finding him because he's, he's been excellent so far. And you've got him out for the rest of the tournament? Big bad Pete. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure the rules he's a replacement player at the moment but there's going to be lots of toing and froing with COVID and different things so fingers crossed um, we can keep him on the books for the rest of the tournament but we'll have to wait and see but obviously on form alone we'd love to have him for sure. Can I, can I ask one about him as well? Um, with the way Australia A, different squad yep. touring people are sort of in and out of the place. Do you think that we might see a few more pop up a bit like him um, from the fringes of the squad? Yeah, definitely. Like we've seen an unheralded number of um, replacement players get signed, you know, guys that are, I've played with it or against for, for a number of years that are sort of coming in as replacement players. And I think we've got to remember these guys are really excellent cricketers. 
um, and they're, they're keen to have an opportunity like Pete was today. He was super keen to play, wanted to show what he could do. Um, and sometimes, you know, the, the guys that are fresh face are the ones with the most energy. So um, I think, you know, it, it, I don't think Pete's going to be the only one for the tournament, put it that way. It's a nice, no, nice no. way to say old, thank you. Yeah, it does. Like one of the, th like a very, um, what did Riley Russo say? Australians love to use the term matchups in 2020 cricket. So when you have an advantage like that, like they'll, they'll see Pete named in our 13 and go, does anyone know anything about him? And the answer is no, probably not. We might try to target him because, you know, he's on debut. And that can go both ways, and we saw today the way that it can go for you as well. So, um, in a game that is so short and so reliant on uh, getting matchups right, to have someone who you haven't seen before can be a real advantage for sure. And I was just going to ask one more question. Like, uh, you guys set, you personally and your team set the bowling uh, standard pretty high. How do you sort of back that up tomorrow and then go forward? Yeah, I think, uh, I think we're. We're really fortunate with the variety in our attack that it, you know, I'm sure touch wood, it's going to happen at some point that a, t a team's going to line us up. But with so much variety, I think it's going to be hard for teams to get hold of all our different types of bowlers. So um, I think tonight that really worked for us. But like we just said, when the book's out and teams start to plan for us a little bit more, they start to see who bowls what overs and what balls they go to, teams are going to come a bit harder. But I think for us, it's about relying on that strength which is our variety um, and we'll keep doing that until someone you know gets on top of us.